everyone, welcome back to the Storytime Family. How are you today? How was your day? Did you go to school today? Did you learn anything new or interesting? Did you make any new friends? Well, thank you for sitting down and reading with us. Today we have a book called Empty by Andrew Bradley. Shall we have a look and see what Empty is all about? Let's go! Empty A girl found an emptiness that she did not understand. She wondered about this emptiness. Why was it there? What did it mean? The harder she looked, the more emptiness she found. So the girl asked lots of questions, but this annoyed the seagull. The hermit crab simply laughed and said, Stop trying so hard. Don't worry so much. The pelican spoke calmly. You'll work it out. She tried to forget about it, but it was always there. As the girl sat quietly, she heard something. It was daunting and beautiful at the same time. It lightened her heart. The sound came from nearby. A boy was making music. Can I help you? asked the girl. I have an emptiness that I don't know how to fill, he replied. But the music you make is so beautiful. Would you teach me how to play like that? The girl responded. The boy nodded slowly and smiled. They practiced and practiced. They played happy music and made the waves dance. They played sad music that made the whales cry. They played music that made the fish stop and forget where they were. The boy turned to his new friend. I don't feel empty anymore, he said. Thank you. The girl suddenly realized her own emptiness had also disappeared. I don't understand, she said. You gave me your music, but what did I give you? You gave me a reason to play, he smiled. There are good ships and wood ships that sail the sea. But the best ships are friendships. May they always be. And that was empty. Wasn't that a beautiful story? I would love to dedicate this book to my friend David. I just want him to know that I love him so much and I wish he was here and I'll see him soon. If you like a copy of this book, the links are in the description below. If you haven't, do subscribe for more stories like this, give us a like, or leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Today we have a book called I Am Grateful for My Body by Christy Madeline Hyde and illustrated by Natalie Jelm. Let's get started. 
I am grateful for my body. I am grateful for my eyes because I can see the shapes in the clouds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my mouth because I can speak kindly to myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my nose because I can smell mom's cookies baking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my ears because I can hear my brother sing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my legs because I can dance and stand so tall. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my feet because I can kick a soccer ball. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my arms because I can give the biggest hugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my heart because it helps me to love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my hands because I can draw my favorite things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful for my body because my body is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I hope you're grateful for your body. It does so much for us every single day and every minute of the day too. So show your body some love. Go outside, have a good play and stay healthy and take care of it. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in our description below. If you enjoyed this story and would like to hear more, do subscribe, give us a like, and leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. And click on the bell for more stories. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.